Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I normally start my comedy sets by saying I ain't shit, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't work this time. I'm in a shitty emoji. <laughs> Start with these shitty jokes. How y'all doing tonight? I feel like a really relaxed and calm vibe right now. I'm a little bit high. Y'all seem a little bit high. I don't expect you to laugh at these not jokes because they're shitty. And that's how I like it. So make sure to not laugh at these jokes, please. You ruined it. I told you about that. Um, just got on J-Swipe. J-Swipe's a wonderful thing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, J-Swipe is a Jewish dating app. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, I set my profile to Orthodox Jew because I'm out here balling. And, uh, I met him with this girl over at Starbucks, right? And I walked in the I walked in the door, and she gave me that look like you ain't no Orthodox. So I immediately just went, "I'm Orthodox, bitch." For those of you who don't know what orthodox is in the boxing world, orthodox boxing is when you box with your left hand forward. Oh. I'm not just walking in Starbucks knocking out Jewish bitches, all right? This isn't a domestic violence case. This is me explaining how orthodox boxing works. I didn't smash that day, but it's cool, man. It's one down, six more to go. I believe in the rules of seven or the law of averages. As many, if you want something to work, you gotta go out and do it many times. For me, normally when I try something seven times, I get it. That means if I go out with seven Jewish girls, I'm gonna smash one. <laughs> it's all up here, man. Shitty jokes, bro. I like to scare myself while high. It's uh, I get an adrenaline rush. It's kind of fun. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. Uh, recently, I went down to Skid Row and uh, I tried to blend in while jogging. So I took off my shirt and wore some like dirty ass blue pants. So I'm jogging, right? And like for the first 10 minutes, I was cool. Like the homeless people didn't recognize that I wasn't homeless, you know what I mean? Cause like, it's kind of like the zombie apocalypse. Like if you a zombie, the zombie's not gonna attack you. So I, I went in there with the same mindset. If I just act homeless, the homeless people won't fuck with me. But uh, I fucked up and I got scared. I was, I was jogging. And uh, this dude like spit on the ground and I, I immediately like hopped into the middle of the street and then they was on to me. So now I'm running down Wall Street in the middle of the street with motherfucking cars going by, homeless people staring at me like, yo, that guy's running fast. Uh, finally, a police officer, he was about to stop me. He, he was he, he like raised his hands like, wait, wait a second, sir. And I was like, hey man, I gotta get out of here. He said, like, oh, you're not homeless yet, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Jay walking is okay and Skid Row, and he's just trying to get out of there. Yeah. That shit was kind of spooky, man. When I was down there, uh, I got a little bit tired, so I was still in Skid Row because I was a little tired and high. And uh, there was this black dude on a bike, and he rode by. And he rode by with like some like serious intent, like. It almost felt like the beginning of a Grand Theft Auto mission when like somebody just comes out of nowhere and is like, hey man, watch out, something's about to happen. Do you want to start this mission or not? And I was like, start this motherfucking mission. And the dude was like, all right, look bro, if you just keep walking down this block, you're gonna find a really racist, homeless Asian man and you're not gonna like him. I was like, all right, bet, I'm gonna go down the street and say, hey, I want you, brother. He starts riding off, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm like jogging, I'm kind of jogging, walking, and uh, this old a Asian dude looking like a uh, motherfucking Samurai Jack from uh, Samurai Jack. It looked like he was about to go face Haku or something like that. He had like this real serious, uh, about to beat your ass, do some drunken style boxing type kung fu demeanor to him. And he, uh, he just looked at me right in my eyes, man. He said, you dirty nigga. And like, Normally, I'd be offended by that, but I was actually 100% scared. I was a bitch in that situation. I was like, yo, if I say fuck you or say anything, he might just spit on my face, and I can't get rabies today, so I kept going. He punked me, man. I don't know if I'm gonna get punked. I mean, I ain't shit. I mean, I go through shit, but I got punked. It's crazy shit, man. Shitty jokes. I need to write these up. <laughs> so I fucking around my hand like this. I live in K-Town. Um, this is my community right here. There's a lot of white people who live here. I kind of feel like it's a white neighborhood. I don't know. 
I see I see enough white people in my in, in my neighborhood, like right over here, I see a lot of white people. I don't know about you. There's a white okay. On my block. That's basically what I'm trying to say. When I say my neighborhood, there's a lot of Latinos and Asians, but on my block, there's a lot of white people and there's a lot of white people jogging, man. That's all I was trying to say. It's a white neighborhood. I don't know if y'all know this, but I notice that I'm a better person when I'm messing around with like a BBW. Um, I'm just more free. With a little freedom to it. Cause I don't care if I fuck up. I'm like, yo, even if I do fuck up, like she's gonna be like, yo, that's like a, a cute black dude. I'm gonna like rock this out and just let him be an idiot a little bit more. So I end up doing more stupid shit. And uh, I like that. I, I, I appreciate BBW women for that because it allowed me to just do me how I wanna do me. Like when you get with a sexy chick, there's there's so much facade you gotta put on, especially like if you grow, like I find I end up saying what I'm trying to be to pretty women and telling BBWs what I actually am. Like a BBW be like, oh yeah, so what do you do for work? I just kick it, play PlayStation. Maybe once in a while I do some acting shit. If it's a sexy chick, I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm an actor, I'm a SAG actor, not just any actor, I'm a SAG actor. I ain't no goddamn SAG actor. <laughs> I ain't joined no goddamn union. Oh yeah, baby, I just came from work, I was talking to Leonardo DiCaprio, I be lying like a motherfucker. I ain't shit. Gotta work on these jokes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, stop laughing at my jokes. I told you about that. I just recently found out that Jason Kidd was black. Because um, in the video game, he's a white dude. He's like, he's, he's basically the same skin tone as Steve Nash. I don't really watch real sports too often. Um, so I never really saw Jason Kidd. I saw him in the video game. He was a white dude. I was recently watching the Sports Center and uh, they was like, yeah, Jason Kidd, the black coach, got fired. Is it because he's black? I was like, yeah, Jason Kidd's black? That's my time, y'all. I'm going to count to him. Don't drop that down.